Now to more in the Anthony Weiner sexting scandal. The congressman defiant that he will not resign and word that Weiner's wife, Huma Abedin, is pregnant with their first child. Abedin is currently traveling with Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in Dubai. She's a close aide to Mrs. Clinton, working for her since 1996. So what does a scandal like this do to a brand new marriage just setting out to start a family? Michelle Golland is a clinical psychologist, and I'm delighted to say that she joins us once again from Los Angeles. And Michelle, it's hard to imagine the kind of strain this sort of activity right. will put on a couple who are married less than a year, but add to that the public humiliation in the way the right. story is liter literally Become, become global, can you describe the kind of impact that this must be having on both of these people? Well, you know, I like to describe affairs as they're sort of like an avalanche. It freezes everything in time, Martin. It's this feeling of everything has stopped and you need to reflect back on all that has happened in the past to try to get a sense of what was true, what wasn't true, where was the betrayal, where was the lying, when did this happen. So, so it has that sort of very traumatic effect on the person who has been betrayed. And I imagine that's particularly difficult at the moment with Mr. Weiner here in New York and his wife with the Secretary of State in, in, um, in Abu Dhabi. Well, absolutely. And I think that, you know, what is obviously going to be needed is is very serious couple work and possibly individual work around these issues. I mean, it's it's a really painful experience, uh, betrayal, even though we're, we're unsure if there was actual physical contact. This is still infidelity and still a betrayal. Because you said to me earlier this week, the sexting is adultery in your view. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you are doing illicit things and not telling your partner and they are of a sexual nature, it's, it, it's a betrayal. It's cheating. Now, Mr. Weiner has been adamant in all his public statements that A, he's going to stay in his position as a congressman, and B, that he thinks he will remain married. But do you mm -hmm. think a marriage can survive this kind of thing? You know, I absolutely do. I think, you know, Martin, we have a nearly 50% divorce rate. And I think, you know, being a relationship expert and working with couples who have been through this experience, it can be survived. It takes a huge commitment on both people's parts. But it definitely, especially when children are involved, it is something that you have to try to do to deal with what the issues were so that if it can work out, you, you did your best effort to do so. So your view is that this couple can remain together, remain marriage, married if, if, if they seek the correct kind of help and support? Oh, absolutely. Definitely. Dr. I Mich really do. Dr. Michelle Gollan, thanks very much for joining us. Welcome.